Hey guys, it's Danielle from Blissful Domestic, and today I have a grocery haul for you. It is the um, almost the beginning of April, and so this is the first of our April grocery trips. We did Winco today, and we spent $134.67, and I'm going to take you through, and I'll tell you how much things cost, and uh, what we'll be doing with it, and stuff like that. Always remember that prices are going to be different wherever you live. This is just kind of give you an idea of what I buy, how we spend our grocery money, how we save, and how we make it stretch, and how we, um, you know, do it the healthy way. So here we go. All right, so we're just going to start back here. You can see the fruit bars have already been dug into. Um, after we did grocery shopping, this was the last thing that we got, and so they were... $3.68 each, except the one in the back, because that one has 12, and so that one was $4.24. And so, let's see. These are fruit and veggie bars. We have peach, mango medley, tangerine, carrot, and then the other one has strawberry, raspberry, and lime. These are really nice fruit bars. They are 60 calories per bar. Um, no artificial colors or flavors. No high fructose corn syrup. Um, it's nice when you can pronounce the ingredients, so we got those and the kids already dug into them. So, let's go down the list. Um, the next thing, let's see, we can go over. We got, there's kiwis on the bottom there and strawberries. And the kiwis were $3.68, the strawberries were $1.74. Spinach was a dollar sixty-eight. Um, we use it. Bless you, Libby. We use it in smoothies. I like to just cook spinach. Um, one of my favorite meals I shared on Instagram is sautéed spinach in olive oil with mushrooms and chickpeas is delicious. Um, and some garlic salt on top. Um, over here we have the mini sweet peppers. We love to snack on those. Bless you, Libby. Um. Let's see. Those ones were. Where are they? I gotta find them on my list first. Um, hmm. And of course, I do not know where they were. I believe they were three. Oh, three ninety-eight. Um, we got bananas. They were fifty-seven cents a pound. Um, we buy bananas every single week. We use them in smoothies to snack on. We just. Love them. For me, it is not a smoothie if it doesn't have bananas in it. Um, cherry tomatoes. Again, we love to snack on these. We also throw them into salads, and you can throw them into kind of that spinach thing I was talking about. You can saute them. Um, they're actually really good if you saute those with mushrooms and like a little bit of olive oil, and you can serve that on pasta instead of like a, a regular marinara sauce. It's really good. Um, these were... Six dollars and change. A little bit more than what I like to get them for. I like to get them for five, like just under six dollars at Costco, but we needed them for this week. So that was when we had just paid a little bit more. Asparagus was $1.98 a pound. And so this one right here, this is a pound. And I love this is the nice thick asparagus. So delicious. We bake it at, hmm, I can't remember. It's 400 or 425. I think it's 425. Um, degrees and we spray some olive oil on it and garlic salt and then we bake it for 10 to 12 minutes and it is so good. Um, here we have dried apricots. They were $5.70 a pound. This is two and a half pounds. So definitely one of our more pricier items this week. What I do is I divide them into little tubs and I put them in the pantry so it's a quick snack already ready to go and then they're already portion controlled. Um, we got three cucumbers. They were 43 cents each. Um, this week I will peel them and I will slice them and I will put them into some Tupperware. So again, they're just a quick snack that's ready to go in the fridge. I have kind of learned in the past six weeks of doing this like healthy eating stuff is that the more convenient you make it, the more likely you're going to eat healthy. Because, um, you know, we always go for those quick fast food kind of items, you know, the quick snacks, things like that. So if we make the healthy option a more convenient option, we're more likely to eat it. And so that's something that I have found that doing the prepping for snacks has really helped. Um, that's also why I really like the cuties. These were $4.98. So good. And again, they're just something quick you can grab if you have to run out the door or whatever. And they're nice because the kids can peel them themselves. They can just grab one and they're so delicious. 
All right, back here we have avocados. I love the avocados because we've been using them like to cut down the amount of mayonnaise that we put in like chicken salad or like tuna salad or even egg salad. Um, the kids actually really don't even taste the avocado. A lot of you guys asked on Instagram, can you tell? Um, I can't and Libby who hates avocados has been eating it just fine. So it was just a fun, to get, a fun way to get a heart healthy fat into your diet. Um, and let me see how much those were. Yeah. Okay, the avocados for the four of them were $4.98. And I always compare the bagged avocados to the individual avocados. Individual avocados were $1.78 each. Um, insane, like so expensive. And so going the... Um, the bag rate was cheaper this month or this week. And so I just kind of, you got to really just look at the price and whether it's each or per pound, it really depends on the store that you go to. But so that was how I decided to go with the bag this week. Um, back there we have tomatoes. I got four tomatoes. Um, we're going to use these in salads this week. I've been making, <clears throat> excuse me, salads for uh, my husband to bring to work. And so he loves having tomatoes on there. They were, I'm trying to look on my receipt, um, how much they were. Let me see. Okay, I found on my receipt. The tomatoes were $1.58 each. And then back there, we have the petite carrots. Um, petite carrots, they were $1.38 each. And the reason that I did the petite one is because... Of course, they are smaller, which it helps for Libby has braces, and so she can't eat those really the thicker, um, excuse my chip nails, um, the thicker carrots. So I got the petite ones. Okay. It means like small, the thin ones. Over here we have just a thing of lettuce. It was 98 cents. That'll be used for Jason's um, salads this week. We got three. Uh huh, and sandwiches. We got three green bell peppers. They were 58 cents each, and we got three of them. Uh, we also got three red peppers, which were 98 cents each. Those I plan to, I'll probably cut up two of them for snacking. And then the other one, I am trying out a new recipe for a roasted red pepper um, vinaigrette. So we're trying to kind of make more salad dressings at home. Kind of, we kind of got out of the habit, and so I'm trying to get us back into the habit. So, and that happens to be a salad dressing that my husband really likes. So. We're going to try it out. I'll let you know how it goes if we like it, but that's what we're going to be doing with that. Um, let's see what else. Oh, and I have green onions, 58 cents for one little bunch, and I think I'm going to try with the ends just replanting them. I've seen a lot of you guys doing that, and sounds like a good idea. Okay, back here I have orange juice concentrate that will make two gallons of orange juice, and we love to use orange juice for smoothies just to drink, just orange juice is good. They were $1.47 each. Um, and then we have some red wine vinegar that we'll be using for salad dressings. Um, that was $1.87. We have thyme, which was $1.96. Um, and then we have some lime juice, which I love to use lime juice. We will brown some ground turkey in a skillet or you know in a pan and you add taco seasoning a little bit of lime juice and a little bit of cilantro and it is like the best taco meat ever um so we love to use it and I was completely out let me see how much lime juice is um all right the lime juice was 198 okay over here so for peanut butter if you guys have been like long followers of my blog you know that a long time ago, I used to, um, I'd buy them in bulk. I either bought it from Costco or I buy my peanut butter from like a regular grocery store. And then in the past, maybe last month was the first month that we like kind of switched over, trying to get away from some of the oils that are in the peanut butter and stuff. Um, so I had seen my friend Sam had this. My friend Sam had these or had this and I tried it and I really liked it. This is at Winco. You buy it in their bulk food section. And it's actually fairly inexpensive. This one right here is a pound and it's $2 or it's $1.98. And I mean, that's equivalent to buying one of those smaller um, jars of peanut butter, which I would get on sale for about $1.98. So you're going to pay about the same price, but you have a healthier ver alternative or version. And so that's what we've been doing. We really like it. And it's 
freshly ground you uh, they have a machine there at Winco that you can just grind it right there okay then back here I was doing some research on the soy milk I know a lot of you guys were asking me about um, I don't know how healthy the soy milk was and stuff like that and so we decided we did some research and decided that we were going to switch over to almond milk so I have um, one almond coconut blend. I actually saw a lady who was buying this and she said she liked it. So we thought we would try it. But then we got two other vanilla almond milks. These were each, um, two seventy-eight each. So we got three of them. One thing I've noticed that since we have kind of switched over to the dairy-free milk, we actually go through a lot less milk. So I'm not needing to freeze it, you know, in the big gallons. But if you are buying the bigger gallons of milk, you can totally freeze it. That's something that we've always done with once a month shopping is we would buy a few gallons and we'd freeze them at the bottom of a freezer chest. Just, you know, um, non-dairy milk lasts a lot longer in the fridge. It can last all month. Um, if you actually look at the expiration date, it doesn't expire till May 25th. So, I mean, it's definitely lasts a whole lot longer. Okay, um, we have... White distilled vinegar. Um, you know, I use this for cleaning, for cooking, but this right here specifically is going to be used for cleaning. I use it to mop our floors. We will do about a quarter of vinegar, um, the rest of our bucket filled with hot water, and then we add in essential oils. I really like orange right now. Um, but so we use that to clean our floors, and that's also um, how we make our cleaners. So that's what that will be used for. Shh, Elizabeth, remember? Be quiet, please. Um, the vinegar, I usually, I will get at Costco or sometimes at Winco, and it was $1.87 for a gallon. So, I mean, you just can't go wrong making your own cleaner with vinegar. Um, here we have apple juice. We will use these in smoothies. Um, that was, let's see. See, uh, 347. Here we have five dozen eggs. We actually are going through quite a bit more eggs just because we're using them just to snack it. Like I'll hard boil a bunch of eggs. Um, so we have been using um, a bunch more eggs for five dozen at Winco. It was seven dollars and four cents. And so again, I'm gonna probably two dozen of these. I'm gonna hard boil so we have snacks throughout the week. And I just leave them in a tub and the kids can grab them and peel them and we'll make egg salad for lunch and stuff like that. It's just really nice to have those on hand for quick lunches, quick snacks. Um, back here we have olive oil. Um, I've noticed since maybe we're sauteing more vegetables, we're using a lot more olive oil. I've also been trying to replace our um, other oil. We had a huge thing of soybean oil that Jason bought like forever ago and we've been trying to finish it. And so I'm trying, we're almost done with that so that now we can just... Strictly use coconut oil and olive oil. Um, one thing, if you're trying to make a change to like healthier options, um, I think sometimes we can just feel like we want to quickly like throw everything out that is has whatever crud in it we don't want. And I had to kind of resist that. I really wanted to use what we already have. So like we still have some um, things in food storage that we will kind of rotate out. We'll use them and then I just won't purchase them anymore. Um, so that's kind of like what we're doing with the oil. We're using it up, and then we'll strictly just be coconut oil and vegetable oil. Um, and then we have one thing that Jason is just loving having, like, a late-night snack or breakfast is cream of wheat. Um, this basically has replaced his junk food binge at night. Um, so he makes some cream of wheat, puts a little brown sugar in it, and he's like good for the night. I also got this Zoom cereal, which I love the fact that if you look at the ingredients, let's see if I can like zoom in on this. Focus. Will it focus? Let's see. I mean, like, how awesome is that? That like, all it has is one ingredient in it. Like, I love that. And this is very similar to cream of wheat. Um, it's a really good breakfast. Again, quick hot cereal. Huh? Like what it says on the cover. All right. Then back here we have mango chunks. This is our frozen fruit. We have frozen mangoes. Um, Elizabeth, why? No, put that down. Um, okay. Oh, sorry. And the cream of wheat was 328 
and the Zoom cereal was $1.97. I forgot to say that. Um, all right, the frozen mango chunks were $2.12 each, and the strawberries were $8.35. Sometimes if I can get strawberries at a really good price, like from Bountiful Baskets or just um, on sale fresh, I will then freeze them. But all the strawberries that I froze last month, we've already gone through, so I had to get some more frozen berries for smoothies. Um, so this is everything that we purchased this week to go towards our once a month shopping. Um, we will definitely be going back for some produce and we'll be using Bountiful Basket. But then everything else, um, I guess we're going to, this is all kind of new. Some of the, like the change in our diet. But we'll definitely only be doing Costco once this month. And we stock up on the pantry staples once. We only go back for the fresh produce. But again, I'm always sticking to a budget. I go through with a calculator and I'm paying cash. So that is like the best way to be able to stay within budget and I just think it's important for us to know that we can eat healthy and live better and not have to like spend a fortune. I know that was a nice to think like, oh, you have to spend so much money. But really, if you shop smart, you shop the sales and, you know, you can do this. You can save your family money, create wonderful meals for you guys to be able to share together and you know, you, you're going to be a better family for it. So again, here's everything that we bought. We again, all together, it was $134.67. If you guys like seeing these videos, hit that like button. It lets me know that you guys want to see more grocery hauls. You want to learn more about how to just shop on a budget and save money. And don't forget to check out my blog, blissfuldomestic.com for more just money saving post, life post everything and you can find me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. And if you're new to this channel, hit that button and subscribe. Thanks guys. Bye.